Hi Faith Box family, Lacey here. Um, I'm with you on day 20 um, of the month of resilience and our verse for today is 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 9. We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. This verse written by Paul is one of the strongest worded sentences in this this letter to the church at Corinth. It's inspiring, inspiring and strengthening. But one of the more subtle points of emphasis is on the word we. In those two verses, Paul uses the word we a total of six times. That's because it was clear from Paul's vantage point that resilience is far more attainable when you are surrounded by a strong group of we versus an individual me. We cannot overstate or underestimate the significance of having a strong community when it comes to developing resilience in our lives. Having people who will walk through the fire, offer encouragement, and help lead the way forward are crucial on the path to becoming resilient. These people can come from your local church, a community group of some sort, close family, or elsewhere. Who are some people in your life that help you become more resilient? Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this day was because um, my church, um, I go to a small church, but everyone there is a family. And when we all, when someone goes through something, we all, are all together praying for them and trying to help the best we can. And I feel like, and we've had a lot of people in our church lately um, with sickness and a lot of trials going on. And um, I just feel like some of us go through the valleys and we're going through a lot of troubles and some of us are on the mountaintop. And so the one, those of us who are on the mountaintop, we can pray and uh, lift the others up um, and help them through their trials. And then when it's our turn in the valley and it's their turn on the mountaintop, then they'll be the ones helping us um, go through the trials. And my church family is so good at that. They're so important at that. <clears throat> and my family's really close too. So I just went, this day really spoke to me because I really just, um, it reached out to me because of the we, and honestly, I don't know what my life would be like without my church and without my close family. So I hope to see on Facebook and stuff of you guys and who your we is, and I'm excited to go through the rest of this month of resilience with you. Have a great day.